How often have you noticed that when entering into cut, you get a poor finish and that horrible sound? And how do we usually solve this? We turn down the feed. This may hide the problem, but the reality is you are losing productivity. This animation shows a typical milling cutter entering into cut. We've removed the body of the cutter for clarity. The areas illustrated with the red explosions are where we have our problem. We're generating a thick chip as we exit the cut. The good news is we can fix this. And we can do this with a simple programming solution. In this episode, we'll discuss the technique of rolling into cut. With the roll-in technique, we focus on easing the inserts into cut, ensuring that we obtain a thick chip on entry and a thin chip on exit, as illustrated in this animation. We just need to ensure that we're rolling in the right direction, clockwise. However, approaching the component in the counterclockwise direction takes you right back to where you began. You're generating a thick chip on exit. The vibration, the poor finish, and the poor sound, they return. In summary, you always want to ensure a thick chip on entry and a thin chip on exit. Using the roll-in technique achieves this, and as a result, you secure good surface finish and good part quality. You increase your tool life and your productivity. For more smart tips, contact one of our specialists or visit us at our Sambit Cormont website.